All right, is it time to reconsider FANG stocks? Andres Garcia, CEO of Zoe Financial. Alphabet had a good quarter, but some of their ads for YouTube and mobile were not as lucrative as they have been. So what do you make of FANG? Are you sticking with it? Look, I think uh, they've had a tremendous run this year. Uh, their earnings, although expectation might be very high, are still delivering. Mm. But I think when you look at stocks and technology, you're trying to look three, five years out, and that's the danger, right? So you have certain expectations, like a long option, that whiplash if you don't actually get uh, better than expected. So I think there could be some volatility around um, those, those guidance going forward, but I think they'll continue to deliver. I really don't, I don't foresee uh, some of the hiccups around not matching expectations, uh, stopping some of these stocks to continue to perform. And according to your analysis, the bulk of the total return for the S&P 500 comes from earnings growth. So the numbers that we're getting from Alphabet and we have Amazon and Facebook this week, you know, this matters. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I mean, earnings season, that's the beauty of earnings season is that perception starts to meet reality, mm. right? And from that, pers from that perspective, uh, I think it is important. We'll see what happens tonight. We'll see what happens the next couple of days. But I think it's also important to note that you don't need FANG for the market to continue to go up mm. higher, right? If you recall uh, in the last couple of months, there has been times where these have sold off mm. and other sectors have picked up the pace. Why? Because earnings is not just based out of technology, right? Financials have, have performed well when it comes to earnings. There are other, other catalysts that could uh, continue to propel the market higher. And maybe tech valuations are getting a little bit too high. You have some num numbers for us basically yeah. saying that uh, valuations now at 23 and a half times earnings for the tech sector yeah. above the 10 year average, but lower than they were in 2007. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I put that down because I think um, there's always this talk of the tech bubble. Is this a bubble? And look, valuations are high, but they're not even quite to the levels of 2007. And remember in 2007, technology was actually not the mm. culprit. We basically know. had no iPhone then. <laughs> exactly. So, so I think uh, yes is expensive, um, but something to keep in mind when it comes to valuation is that when you're looking a year out, valuation is not necessarily the most important metric. Mm. Of course, if you start to get uh, to levels that are just beyond kind of supported by earnings, such as when we were in 99 or, mm. or 2000, but a year out, most important thing is that earnings momentum as well as price momentum. And so mm. far, we have seen both working. Uh, we'll see if earnings momentum starts to slow down with some of these numbers coming out of FANG. Well, and if you look at the top five best performing stocks in the S&P 500, actually none of them are FANG. So it's something to certainly keep in mind. Exactly. Andres Garcia, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.